Evening, thank you. Well, protecting Oklahoma schools against potential mass shootings. A state lawmaker has filed two bills he says will address those very worried concerns for district. News 4's Capitol Bureau Chief Nick Camper explains how the potential new law would work in all of this. Nick? Yeah, so there's two laws. One bill would fund the Oklahoma School Safety Institute, which performs assessments on schools to see where they need to upgrade systems and technology. The other bill creates a grant program to help schools pay for those upgrades. I started teaching and coaching uh, in 1979. The culture has changed across the country, and, and now it's terrible that we have to secure our School facilities almost, you know, almost hardening. Republican Senator Dwayne Pemberton says school safety has evolved in the 40 years since he started teaching. In the two bills he's written to improve safety, schools would undergo assessments to check monitoring systems, number of exits and entrances, and other factors. There's about 100 facilities in the state or 100 school buildings that have been assessed over the last 10 years. He wants to increase the number to every school in the state by 2026. In order to do that, more than a million dollars needs to go into the Oklahoma School Safety Institute, which runs the assessments. The money would be used to hire personnel. A second bill from the Muskogee Senator would fund a grant program so each school can get help paying for the safety recommendations from the assessments. I'm requesting $20 million to try to do things such as, you know, card readers and cameras and ballistic glass or interior exterior monitoring. Uh, new exterior doors, security alarms, all types of things like that. After last year's school shooting in Uvalde, Texas, and the shooting at St. Francis Hospital in Tulsa, a bipartisan group of lawmakers were tasked to come up with ways to protect classrooms. Uh, Bipartisan-wise, we all we all understand that that's the most the most important thing for all of us, our kids and our grandkids. The Oklahoma Education Association wasn't available for a comment today, but an official recently told the Stillwater News Press they support the idea.